Hopefully you're enjoying your summer and didn't miss these too much, but it's that time of year again. This is my preliminary winter forecast for the winter of 2023 to 2024. Let's start off with our temperature forecast. This winter, temperatures will be warmer than average in the west. The warmest area will be the northwest. Temperatures will be colder than average in the east. These cold temperatures are likely to extend through the south-central U.S. as well. The coldest area will be the southeast. This winter is being influenced by El Niño. An El Niño typically brings warmer temperatures to the north and colder temperatures to the south. This is about what we are expecting this year. The only big difference is the below average temperatures extending through the north central and northeast areas, which is not typical during an El Nino. Despite this El Nino, we are still expecting frequent Arctic blasts in these areas. Next, we have our precipitation forecast. My other voice broke, so here's my new one. Below average precipitation is expected in the northwest and north central US. The driest area will be the states closest to the Canadian border. Above average precipitation is expected in the southwest, south central, southeast, and northeast U.S. The wettest area will be the states closest to the Mexican border, the Gulf of Mexico, and the South Atlantic. El Nino typically brings drier conditions to the north and wetter conditions to the south. This is what we are expecting this year. The only unusual detail is the above average precipitation staying farther south in the west and extending further north in the east. We usually see the opposite occur. You can expect most storm systems to take a more southerly track this year, as well as an increased chance of nor'easters. Lastly, we have the overall forecast. In the orange, you can expect warm and dry conditions, which will likely persist throughout the entire season. In the dark green, you can expect wet and mild conditions. This area is special because we are expecting neutral temperatures, which is a rarity nowadays. In the light green, you can expect cooler, wetter conditions. The air can get chilly at times around here. In the yellow, you can expect constantly changing conditions. This area lies right on the dividing line for both temperature and precipitation. You should prepare for cold, warm, wet, and dry weather, which could strike at various times of the season. In the dark purple, you can expect cold, soggy weather. A chilly rain should dominate, but severe weather can strike with some of the systems. Overall, it's not looking good for you guys down there. In the pink, you can expect mixed precipitation, which creates a weather battle zone. This area is far enough north where Arctic air mixes with precipitation, but isn't consistently there. You should prepare for all weather hazards here. In the lighter purple, you can expect Arctic blasts. These blasts can become quite frequent throughout the season. This area is another area on the dividing line for precipitation, so a handful of storm systems could pass through and bring snow. Finally, if you're in the red, you're in the bullse. This area is an area where Arctic blasts and storm systems are expected to collide. This can result in massive winter storms, bringing heavy snow, drenching rain, sleet, and freezing rain. Many of these potential storms likely classify as a nor'easter, which are storms that ride up the east coast. The track of these storms will differ, which puts all weather hazards on the table. If you're in this area, you should prepare for all hazards and severe winter storms. A little extra information, the preliminary forecasts should run into September. After that, we are close enough to winter so official forecasts will set in. I will release a forecast around the halfway mark of every month. This should continue until my final forecast in November. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.